Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. Thank you for joining me again on another broadcast or podcast even of I Care. I want you to know today that the Lord our God is faithful, he is gracious, he is good, and he is kind. There is no other God like our God, and he has you always on his mind. Hallelujah to the Lamb. He thinks thoughts about you because he wants your life to be the blessed life that he prepared for each and every one of us. So today I want to share with you something that's very important. Many times we, we kind of let it slide a little bit in our lives, and therefore we don't understand the fullness of what God really wants to do financially in our lives. And so I want to encourage you today in your giving. I want to encourage you that God requires giving. And we are to do that which God teaches us in his word concerning giving. You know, the first thing he teaches us is the tithe. And the tithe is a very important part because it's the thing that keeps us in covenant with God concerning our financial uh, lifestyle, our financial life through God. And so the tithe, he says, again, will a man rob God? Hello. He said, yet you have robbed me. Hallelujah. And so that's a very powerful statement for the Lord to say to us is that we robbed him. And when you when you rob someone, that means you are right in their face doing something against them or taking something from them. Well, God is not a God that's going to allow us to rob him because there are consequences to not obeying God in the financial arena when it comes to our tithes, our offerings, our first fruits and so forth. There are many things that the body of Christ seems to resist uh, when it comes to God's word. But, you know, just like we want healing, just like we want health, just like we want the, the financial blessings in our lives, we have to obey the word of God in order to receive those things, that it be no hindrance to the prosperity and the blessing that God wants in our life. First John tells us again, beloved, I wish above all things that, they may as, that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. So you see two of the key things with God is that your soul prospers and not only that, but you financially prosper. That is the will and desire of God. So I'm going to share a couple of things with you this day. One of the things that, that, that really hits my heart when it comes to God is the fact that we ought to purpose our giving towards him. You know, God purposes what he does, and we ought to be people just like him. We purpose what we're going to do. In other words, we're not just haphazardly doing anything, but we we're going to do it with purpose. When I give, give with purpose. Because again, God honors purpose. God honors the plan that we have concerning our finances. So I encourage you today to be a tither, first of all, then also not only a tither, but be, give, give gifts, offerings above the tithe, and also remember that God has also established the first fruit offering. So I want to encourage you this morning again that God gives seed to the sower. Now watch what it says in, in 2 Corinthians uh, 9 and 10. God gives seed, listen to this, he gives seed to plant to the sower. In other words, if you're not a sower, there's no need to give you seed. But he gives seed to the sower that, that, that you may have bread to eat and have fruit on, bread on your table. The Lord our God is faithful because he watched this what he does. He says, when you sow your seed, he multiplies your seed. He multiplies the seed that you sow. There, there's, uh, there's only one seed I know that only produces one, uh, one return or one uh, fruit from it. And that's a flower, it's a plant. And that's the only one I know. You know what? It only produces every blue, I mean, just when I say blue moon, I'm talking about every blue moon. Very rare that this seed produce. And then the problem is that once that seed produces from that plant, watch what happens. Within a few days or even shorter than a few days, it immediately dies. Hallelujah. So God's when God gives us seed, the seed that God gives us will continue to multiply. Now, remember this. If you plant an apple seed in a garden, amen, once you plant that apple seed, that apple seed begins to grow. That apple tree comes out of that seed. It begins to grow. And as it begins to grow, watch what happens. Apples, what did I say? I said apples begin to be produced from that one seed that was sown. And here's the awesome thing about it is that one seed that was sown produced all these apples. You get a harvest, but that one seed continues, hallelujah, as it's fed, it continues to produce fruit over and over and over again. Always remember, when you sow a seed, it's not just a one-time return, but it's a return over and over and over. God is faithful. I care.